I'm back at the lab again and this morning I'm going to be running through exactly the procedure that we use to uh, quantify these aerosols to work out indoor air pollution. Step one involves us sending these aerosol spore traps out to building inspectors, occupational hygienists, health inspectors, insurance assessors or property managers. Step two involves the client mounting one of the aerosol or Versatrap spore counting cassettes onto the apparatus which is a pump and pressing go. Step three is when I actually receive the package of samples back from uh, the uh, client, in this case a builder, I'm now going to take those and mount them onto microscope slides. Basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to apply a stain called lactophenyl cotton blue to each one of the uh, slides. This is going to allow me to see the spores from the air. Inside each one of these uh, aerosol cassettes, once I open it up, is a cover slip, and that's the thing that uh, shows up what's in the air. Now it's a straightforward process for me to now use that microscope slide that's been stained, put it onto the microscope, and then use computerized image analysis to help me identify what's going on. quite exciting looking at uh, what's in the air under the microscope and uh, here you can see a well-known allergen which is called uh, Johnson grass smut. This is common. The hallway sample is looking pretty contaminated in this property but the thing I want you to take away from this field of view is the blue coloured uh, objects. They're skin that's in the air. This is another sample from uh, a bedroom at this property and here's an excellent example of airborne diesel particulates in this bedroom. It's now a simple matter to input my data into our uh, lab notebook and uh, prepare a report for the client. Completed reports are then sent to the client who will then work out an appropriate scope of works to remediate the uh, contamination at this property. A few examples of what I see under the microscope on samples that have been sent in to us for analysis and uh, it's pretty strange under there isn't there?